Community-based organizations and NGOs working to conserve critical ecosystems or wildlife often find it challenging especially communicating their results and sharing of success stories with their stakeholders and partners. Sometimes, useful outcomes or observations that can maximize the impact of their work are either not communicated properly or shelved entirely. It's like smiling in the dark. When you smile in the dark, nobody knows you're smiling, nobody sees your beautiful smile. So when these organizations do very good work but no one knows about it, people may even think there's no work going on and sometimes, uh, you know, the impact is not um, far-reaching as it should be. With funding support from the Critical Ecosystem Partnership Fund, the Tropical Biology Association organized a three-day intensive communication masterclass in Ghana for conservation leaders, project managers and field officers working on projects around the West Africa Upper Guinean Forest Hotspot on how to communicate conservation impacts. Participants from Togo, Ghana, Sierra Leone, Liberia, and Nigeria took part in the training. So this masterclass on communicating conservation impact has three modules. The first one is on principles of conservation. And here we cover about uh, the tools we call AMT. That is about the audience, the message that you want to pass to this audience, and the tools that you can use. And the tools is also the channels that you can use to pass this message. The second module is about sharing the conservation impacts. And here we talk about what can the CSOs, uh, what are the avenues they can use. So we talked about social media, we talked about how to take good pictures, we talked about how to use uh, infographics, and they made, even made a uh, poster, uh, a trial poster on how they could present their impact. The third and, and last module is on communication for advocacy. And we talked about how do you communicate when you need to advocate for some change. And advocacy can be with communities or with policy makers or with uh, bilateral governors. It can be at any level. And you need special skills to be able to communicate for advocacy. After going through the intensive practical training, here are some reflections from participants and what they are taking back to their organizations. So I learned how to tell my stories, uh, what social media platform I can use to tell my stories, how I can get connected to people that are doing similar work. So it's all about uh, how we can improve our networking, how we can engage effectively, and how we can just uh, broaden our engagement by networking with others in order to sell ourselves. I find this masterclass very, very interesting, and it has broadened my horizon. It has broadened my knowledge that I'm taking to my organization in Sierra Leone. One thing I've learned from this masterclass is the need to develop a communication strategy for the institution I work with. If we do that, then we can inform more people about the works that we do. And it's relevant because it becomes a guide for the institution on how to share information about the impact of their projects. So immediately when I go back to my institution, what I'm going to do is to develop a communication strategy for us. We have a number of projects that we need to develop a communication strategy for, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So the four days was uh, eventful, it was productive, and it was impactful. Because at the end of the day, the NGOs present were able to draft for themselves, for those that did not have a communication strategy, they could have a draft of a communication strategy, which is one of the outcome and the indicator that we as a CPF uh, were looking out to get from the whole 
program. So we are going to have a follow-up just to check uh, and, and where they need help, where they need support, but they have taken back all the training materials, all the module materials, and they promised to revise and apply what they need. The objective is just to make them more effective in their communication back in their organizations, and I'm expecting nothing less.